Hello everyone, and welcome to my Sister Wives 4E channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Cody and Robin, stars of Sister Wives, never really got along well with Garrison. The father-son team's relationship was never able to recover from the various problems they were facing during the COVID phase. However, Cody and Robin made the conscious decision to step aside for the late Ferris and Brown's memorial, and they participated fully in the entire event. When Cody and Robin decided to sit in the front row, many were taken aback. Years of distance from the Brown family and the dead spirit preceded this. Cody and Robin, sister wise, were spotted seated in the front row. At the memorial of Garrison, the entire sister wives fandom was taken aback by Garrison Brown's passing. He was a vibrant individual who not only made his family's life better, but also occupied a special position in the hearts of his audience. The celebrity's sudden passing devastated even his colleagues, who chose to pay tribute to him yesterday in the Clark County Armory in Las Vegas. Cody and Robin made the decision to attend the event as well. They not only showed up, but they also made the decision to take seats in the front row. It appears like Cody was seated with his single wife rather than next to Janelle. The latter was sobbing uncontrollably throughout the wedding, as seen in multiple photos. Robin was even seen sobbing uncontrollably in a photo to which Cody had to console her. In an attempt to soothe his wife, he put his hand on her leg. That's not all though. Viewers of Sister Wives quickly noticed that most of the family wore dresses from Garrison's clothing brand, which included flowery designs. Robin was one of many who wanted to honor him. Robin looked stunning in a black gown adorned with Garrison-related floral designs. However, it seems like Cody paired his cloak with a flowered shirt as well. It is difficult to determine if he actually wore it or not. Sister Wise At the Brown family reunion, Janelle gets a folded flag, nearly all of the Sister Wise cast members made the decision to attend a recent Garrison's memorial ceremony in Las Vegas. It was in Garrison's memory that the National Guard of Nevada was established. Nearly all of Cody's children attended the event along with other soldiers from the 1st Squadron and 221st Cavalry. Christine and David were shown in multiple photos with all of the former's children and their partners. Cody's mother and Robin joined him, and they all took seats in the front row. According to the photos, Hunter attempted to assist Janelle the entire time she was sat behind her. The custom of folding the flag in Garrison's honor was followed throughout the event. Everyone in the hall gave the deceased soul their respects. A guard then gave Janelle a salute and showed her the folded flag after that. The matriarch was subbing the entire time, indicating that it was an intense occasion for her. Everyone was aware of the departed person who was a proud TAV scout, in addition to being a staff sergeant Garrison, in the Army Janelle's National Janelle's 25-year-old son, shot himself to death at his apartment on March 5. The children of Christine and Janelle have been close for a number of years, and since the two sister wives left Cody, their ties have only been stronger. In remembrance of Garrison, Christine posted a video of him lending a hand to Truly13, her youngest kid, on Instagram. Christine captioned the photo, saying that Garrison understood the job and that Truly sorely needed a pastime. Alongside his half-sister, he constructed a sizable wooden flowerbed. After laying the wood pieces to form the sides, Garrison opened new soil bugs and filled the bed. Helped a little, but the majority of the hard work was done by her older brother. Garrison was a wonderful, caring brother who understood Truly's need for a hobby and built her a flowerbed, Christine wrote as the post's caption. He will always be missed. Hashtag thank you, hashtag love you, hashtag miss you, hashtag tell those you love that you do. Supporters expressed their sorrow and sympathies for the young man in the social media video's comment area. I don't even know you guys and I've cried several times over this, one person remarked. We watched as Garrison grew up as an audience. I truly apologize for your loss. To be this heartbroken for someone I've never met is such an odd feeling. However, we've seen your kids mature over the years, said another person. 
A third person replied, Wow, Christine, thank you so much for posting something beautiful. There are no words that could satisfy you or Janelle. Just know that you guys are in our thoughts and prayers, a fan said. You can tell he was the best big brother, a fifth person commented. I'm really sorry for all of you. Light and love are being sent. In the wake of his demise, Janelle made a tragic admission. The police report that was in effect when Janelle got on the scene on March 5 has only been made available to the U.S. Sun. The filings state that Janelle said, he just stopped texting last night. According to the report, Janelle also made the comment that she should have gotten Garrison help in the past as well. Furthermore, Garrison was described by Janelle as being estranged from his father. Fans of Sister Wives were aware that Garrison and his father had a turbulent relationship for many years prior to his passing. According to Gabe, Garrison had been struggling with mental health concerns and alcohol abuse. Logan he told Brown the authorities been a frequent absentee on the Sister Wives show ever since he left for college. What then happened to him after that? What prevented him and Michelle Petty from visiting TLC? Since they learned that he may have taken in one of the late Garrison Brown's rescue cats, Followers have been considering these questions. Logan Brown occurs occasionally in family pictures. Michelle Petty was a frequent user of social media in the past. She even talked of giving a kidney to a complete stranger. Her Twitter X account now restricts who may view the posts though. Both of them turned private, and it appears they want to keep things that way. But occasionally, some knowledge does find its way out. Logan Brown does appear in previous family-sharing blogs. Janelle Brown, star of Sister Wives, likely shares more of them than not. But occasionally, his half-brother Payden posts videos of him on TikTok. Michelle posted about Garrison's passing when he passed away, but her Instagram account is still secret. Last year, she was employed by the University of Nevada as an operations coordinator. Additionally, Logan's appears to be employed as a corporate development manager. A TLC fan posed the query, where is Janelle Brown's oldest son these days? On Reddit. He does, however, still reside in Las Vegas, where his mother visited him during Thanksgiving. Following the Yoops question, more came up in the conversation. Logan, where are you? After he got engaged, it seemed as though he kind of vanished. He hasn't been on the show in a very long time, and you seldom ever hear about him. Does anyone know the precise reason for his decision to stop appearing on camera, or did he just make that decision on his own? After getting married, Logan Brown and his spouse now possess a house. Additionally, the couple is childless, safe from their dogs. Many people shared their theories in the comments about the couple's motivation for wanting to be private from TLC viewers. He wishes to keep his life quiet, if my memory serves me well, and he will sometimes appear on Christine and Janelle's Instagram. He, Aspen, and Leon all seem to desire a private existence. Logan has a close relationship with the OG kids, Janelle and Christine. It's likely that he desires seclusion. Perhaps Logan is intelligent enough to avoid harmful social media and reality TV. Yes, it appears that he was no longer interested in taking a direct part in any plots. That's about it. Sporadically, she makes appearances at get-togethers or family activities. Along with his spouse Michelle and her dogs, he continues to reside in Vegas. Even one of Garrison's cherished cats was taken in by them. Such kind individuals. What do you think about Michelle Petty and Logan Brown abstaining from social media and the TLC show? Do you believe it's probably better this way? Please share your thoughts in the comments section below and return here for all Sister Wise news. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.